I'm going to tell you the drug that everyone is addicted to. It's thinking. Everyone's addicted to thinking and most people don't even know it. You're not taught about it by your parents, you're not taught about it by your education system, the schools, college, university, your friends. No one tells you that most of your day is spent in your head thinking. See, we're only aware of thinking when we decide to think about something, when we're conscious of our thoughts, when we're conscious of the thinking itself, when we stop to think about something, that's when we're aware of it. Though thinking still happens with our unconscious mind. It's happening without the spotlight of our awareness on it. We're just lost in thoughts, in our minds, incessantly thinking over and over and over. It's said that we think 60,000 thoughts each day on average, and 95% of those are the same thoughts that we thought yesterday. The same recycled thoughts over and over and over again. And we're not even aware of it. Are you aware of any of these thoughts? Can you stop and realise that, hang on a minute, this was the same thought I thought yesterday. Are you aware of even a hundred of these thoughts? Let alone 60,000. Yet we're still thinking them. They're still happening in our mind. Think how much energy this requires and how much awareness is being stolen from this moment to think and think and think over and over again. This is why meditation is one of the most powerful practices you can do. Because to sit and meditate means to become aware of this, become aware of the thoughts that you're experiencing. Become aware of your awareness being sucked into thinking and to bring it back. So maybe you focus on your breath or a candle flame or the feelings inside of your body, the energy of your body. You bring awareness to it. And what you'll notice is your mind will pull you back into thinking again. And sometimes it may last for a few seconds, but sometimes it may last for minutes. And you'll snap out of it and you'll come back to whatever you need to focus on. Maybe it's the breath. Maybe it's the feeling. But each time that you recognize that your awareness has been stolen and you come back, that is training your mind. That is curing your addiction of thinking. And to take control over all thinking is possibly an impossible task. And people spend years, if not lifetimes, trying to achieve it. The state of no mind. And monks will meditate hours a day to experience this state. No mind, no thinking, no attachment. It's not an easy task, but you can at least experience more control. It's said that the mind makes a great servant, but a terrible master. And for many of you, your mind is your master. It controls you. You don't control it. Your mind is taking you where it wants, all of the time, all of the negative thoughts, all of the negative feelings. It pulls you along, it pulls your awareness from this to that, to this, to that, 
over and over and over again and you can't focus you can't be here experiencing whatever life has given you now because you're in your mind the thinking we're all thinking when you're on the train or the bus everyone's in their mind thinking even when you're having a conversation pay attention to who you're talking to and you'll find that they're not even listening to what you're saying they're in their mind thinking thinking about what they're going to say thinking about what you're saying thinking about something else it's not even to do with the conversation the more you become aware of this the more you see it everywhere people will be doing stuff and they're not even there to do it they're thinking maybe you're washing up but you're thinking maybe you're walking but you're thinking thinking over and over it's a powerful realization because it means there's an area of your life that has immense possibility to regain control over and to completely reshape your reality because to regain control over your mind to any degree is true power because when the negative thoughts come or feelings of fear feelings of anxiety feelings of depression your awareness has grown your spotlight can shine on every single thought that comes into your mind you can see them and you don't have to engage with them because you're in control see most people when these thoughts come they get pulled in they identify with the thought they become the fool. I am depressed I am anxious I am feeling nervous I am feeling scared and they become it and sometimes they're not even aware that this is happening but to regain control over your mind to see the thoughts as they appear as they pass by in your consciousness you watch them and you let them go you watch them you let them go this is true mind mastery thanks for watching and remember you're here to evolve.